number one is Clyde Vibrant Soap. And I had to bring my light out this morning because it's kind of cloudy out and kind of dark and I want you to see me. Hello. And um, today I'm making a rose patchouli and geranium soap, uh, basically because uh, I want to continue my Hawaii themed soaps, but I'm still waiting for the fragrances to arrive. So I'm kind of put on hold for a little bit, but I'll be right on track because uh, I think they're on their way. And uh, a little bit of the design thought behind the soap is I want to really bright white in this case. Usually I'm okay with a kind of creamy color, but to show off the colors in the drop swirl, I really want a really bright white background. So that just means just using a little bit more titanium dioxide and I mix mine with a little bit of warm distilled water and I try to hold back on a little bit of the water too so that uh, I don't get the glycerin in rivers. So let's see how it all works out and let's get started right now. Okay, I'm soaping at about 72 degrees. And I'm gonna mix my oils, kaolin clay today. No milks in this recipe. The lye is at 72 degrees also. And I don't foresee any acceleration today, but I'm always ready for that. Run that to emulsification and then add my fragrance oil. Just to emulsification. Then pour my green, the brown, the purple, and the pink. And I just mixed up my Titanium dioxide, forgot about that. I think I'll blend that last. Through the small amounts accelerate more quickly, so I'm going to mix up my purple. Brown, and finally the white. So that is fairly liquidy. So I'm going to go for my drop swirl. Get most of the white in there. Stir my purple. that in there. Pink, about half of that. Also from about a foot above the mold. Let's 
bright green, same thing. Brown. Then the rest of the white. really smell the rose and the patchouli. Pink here off to one side. to the other side. Just the right pink for me too. I didn't really want a, like a neon pink or anything. And this uh, mushroom brown is just a great sort of reddish brown, so I knew it would be compatible with that pink. Finally the green. part I want to just spread this out lengthwise first and then give this a nice diagonal swirl it's at a nice consistency right now because it leaves a texture to it and I'm going to get my purple mica drizzle in there with a nice bright purple. And then I'm going to diagonal scroll in the other direction.
And we'll call that done. And we'll bring you back for the cut. Okay, let's cut into this. Rose, patchouli, and geranium. It's kind of soft look to it. I wanted this soap for spring. And I wanted one sort of dark, darker accent color. With that nice rich brown. Really happy with the quality of that white, too. Some nice deep mica drizzle with that purple. I like the combination of really delicate lines and thicker lines. Kind of happy soap. So I really wanted a fluid batter for this. I like that one. Those thin streaks of white right in there. I really like that. So I had everything ready to make, except I didn't have my titanium dioxide mixed. So after the lye was combined with the oils, I was going, oh my gosh, i got to mix that titanium dioxide up quick. So um, the batter's not just sitting there thickening up, but I got it done. That's just the right pink I wanted for this too. I didn't want to really pastel-like pink. Sometimes everything works out. You get your idea coming across in the soap, and sometimes you just have to let the soap do its thing, as you've seen in some of the last videos. But once in a while, the fragrance oil, the temperatures, your ambient temperatures, the batter, everything comes together. And there's peace in the universe again. No mica rivers at all in the white. I wanted a really bright white. Yay. Really trying to answer all your comments too. Really love them. I try to make time to just slowly but surely make my way and at least thanking you for that. And thanks to all the new subscribers. Really appreciate that. Checking you out when I see you on uh, Instagram too. I've been taking more outdoor photos again. Just been fun. Hope you're doing well out there. And uh, I'm going to return to the Hawaii themed soaps, I think, after this, because my shipment of more Hawaii like fragrances showed up in the mail finally t yesterday. So I took a whiff of both of them. They smell awesome. Hopefully, they should behave. And um, 
In the meantime, I'm going to try to behave myself. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.